Jer, sodium hydroxide sulfuric acid, and hydrochloric acid are corrosive. This experiment involves generating seal gas. Do not inhale. Haptin is flammable. Lidocaine is sort of toxic. And we do as I say, not as I do up. Don't try this at home. This is for educational purposes only. <coughs> Welcome back, everyone. So today we're going to extract some lidocaine from lidocaine patches. And yes, there's the now red method using anal lube, but my parents wouldn't let me buy that, obviously. So, yeah, we're extracting it from patches. So, it says 4%, I don't know what that means, but you can see there's a bunch more other filler in there. However, through my testing, I found that sulfuric acid gels those fillers up, and you're left with just lidocaine sulfate, which is soluble in water, but not organic solvents. So, what we can do is, by exploiting um, the lidocaine salts, which are soluble in water, but not solvents, we can extract it out of the aqueous solution left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these lidocaine patches and we're going to blend them up with water to extract out the gel. So here's a blender and we're going to take our lidocaine patches and we're going to add it into the blender. I have eight of them and they're 4% and they're the whatever Solanus brand. And I recommend you get this brand specifically because I don't know if other brands will gel like mine did. So yeah. So you can see that now I'm going to add some sulfuric acid to this, and this surprisingly gelled the mixture up, which I didn't expect, but this helps us with the extraction because it's purely just the, um, the leftover um, lidocaine sulfate, none of the other stuff in there, so that's great. So just stir it, and you can see it gels up like this into basically a cooked egg, sort of which then you could just pull out and I squeeze the extra um, juices out of it to get some more yield. So yeah, just get it out, filter it. And um, because I still have some leftover, I decide to um, process the left leftovers as well. So just pour it into the beaker, add sulfuric acid restoring, stir it until it gels up and pull out the gel. And yeah, it really is quite simple. So now we're just going to take this, filter it, and before I boil it down, I'm going to test it to make sure it doesn't decompose during heat, and yeah, it doesn't decompose. So we'll boil the solution down, and I'm left with um, around 200 milliliters, or 100 milliliters, and we add sodium hydroxide with stirring until it's basic on the pH paper. And this precipitates out our lidocaine free base, which I tried filtering, but it ate the filter paper and also nothing got trapped by the filter paper. So yeah, we're just going to do a salt extraction on this instead. But first we cool it down because, well, it's very hot from neutralization. So after it's around room temperature, I tried filtering. As you can see, nothing was captured by the filter paper. So I add it into a flask and shake it with some chloroform. If you have a 1 liter separatory funnel, you can use that as well, but I don't. So yeah, we're just going to use a flask. So you could also use some other solvent, but chloroform is quite convenient because it's quite soluble in this stuff. So yeah, just shake it around and then let it settle off. And just now just add it into a separatory funnel and separate the chloroform layer off, which has our lidocaine free base. And it's or pink colored for some reason i don't know but to this i'm going to add some anhydrous magnesium sulfate to dry it you can use calcium chloride that works as well but not as good as magnesium sulfate to be honest and here is our chloroform solution so i'm going to filter it through a cotton ball into a flask and then we're going to distill the chloroform off and you will eventually be left over with oil that does not boil and that is liquid um lidocaine monohydrate which melts at around 78 degrees celsius so yeah also use a hot water bath don't heat it anymore because you'll start vaporizing and decomposing lidocaine and as you can see it solidifies after cooling so this certainly is lidocaine monohydrate so yeah there's our crude lidocaine which is still fairly well not it's fairly pure but 
it's still crude. So I dissolved it in heptane and now we're gonna filter it through a cotton ball because there's some magnesium sulfate left. And now hydrochloric acid is dripped onto sulfuric acid to make HCl gas, which is then bubbled through our mixture to precipitate lidocaine hydrochloride out as these globs. And then I decanted the heptane off and then boiled it with water to get our lidocaine hydrochloride solution. Then I added sodium hydroxide and stirred it with heptane and then filtered it. And ta-da, we have lidocaine free base in heptane. And now we're gonna evaporate this down until you no longer see the distortions from the heptane fumes and instead some white smoke from the lidocaine sort of boiling off. And I added some more heptane back and now we're just gonna crystallize it, just cool down in a nice bath. And there we have some nice lidocaine monohydrate crystals. And yeah, this was not too difficult really. This was pretty easy to do. So this definitely works. And yeah, here's our final lidocaine product around two or three grams or so. One or two or three, I couldn't be bothered to measure it. So as you can see, it's pretty dry and I accidentally spilled some of it. And yeah, don't touch lidocaine like that. It's probably not a good idea. So we're just going to add this into our final storage container, which I'm using a pill jar, and it's still slightly wet with heptane, but pill jars don't close very tight, so the heptane will escape eventually. And yeah, we're going to use this to make dantonium benzoate, which I guess is sort of my side project along with this main saccharin synthesis. So yeah, uh, recommend me other things to do with this, but yeah, that is getting lidocaine from lidocaine patches. And that was fairly easy, so yeah, that's it for this video i guess and see you in the next one where i might make benzyl chloride i might make saccharin i don't know who knows hooray oh yeah and also join the discord server you would you would have this access like a week earlier so hooray yeah see ya